Hello, my dudes. So, one week on the carnivore diet? <gasps> what did I eat? How do I feel? What changes occurred? Don't you worry, I'm gonna cover all of this. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so the carnivore diet. That means we ate meat, dairy, and eggs. Last Monday, we started by going to the local butcher shop. All right, it's our first official day starting the carnivore diet. We are on the way to the butcher because we don't have anything to eat. <laughs> I'm super excited to be doing this. We're gonna get some nice fresh meat. Can't wait to see what we pick out. See how this experiment goes. Instead of going to Walmart and getting our meat. No! 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 We decided to get high quality meat. I'm so glad we did this. It's not even that much more expensive and it's so much better. <laughs> the taste difference is just crazy and I'm so thankful we did that. Six pounds of 80-20 ground chuck. Splurging on beef ribeye steak and some amazing cheese. That's what we get. And we also had some fish in the freezer, salmon and mahi-mahi and butter. We had a case of eggs, like a big case. We had some leftover whole milk, half and half, and we also got heavy whipping cream for our coffee. What kind of meals did we have? Well, we did have fun experimenting, but most of them were kind of the same thing. My husband became quite the meat chef, uh, had fun with that. We'd do the same old, like, the ground beef, fry that up, and then do scrambled eggs with it. And then, of course, burgers with cheese just melted over it. <sighs> My favorite thing with the beef, though, was donuts. We call it donuts. <laughs> like, in the morning, we're gonna have our coffee and donuts, but it's it's the ground chuck formed into a donut shape with a fried egg put in the middle and then sprinkle coarse salt on top and it is just so so freaking good but then the fish also so so good glazed over with butter is just amazing salmon mahi mahi and we would save that for our dinners like at the the last part of our eating window which is nine to five um, and that was just a great way to finish off the day. It just feels so good in your belly once you're done eating. We didn't have much for in between. Like we would have these two light meals, kind of late morning, maybe 10 or 11, and then something for dinner around four. We would normally do a protein shake, which also does have a little bit of sugar in it, FYI. For now, we're doing half and half as like the milk part of the protein shake really filling and it feels pretty good and it's a very steadying drink to have when we were just feeling so lightheaded or hungry and just like frantic we just have a protein shake it feels so much better i would snack a lot on the cheese and i, I just love cheese um but it also had some i think bad repercussions on my digestive system so we're trying to find like how to snack better, but I don't think snacking is really a great option. Like, like beef jerky is kind of expensive, um, but that'd be like jerky would be a great thing to snack on. But we just aren't there yet. We got to figure that out yet. So how did this diet make me feel for the first week? Give in to the beauty of your feelings and say the words. It was hard, it was an adjustment, and it still is, like, we're still in the beginning stages. I was very tired for most of it. In the weeks prior, I've been working out and kind of had energy for, like, enough energy to work out and lift weights, but then during this week, I just felt really tired and a little weak even, so I didn't really work out. It was just too much <laughs> during that adjustment, and I think that's okay, you know? You don't want to push yourself when you're making these big life changes. So yeah, I was tired. I was just super hungry all the time. I think there's different reasons for that. One, apparently our bodies fed on the American food can be tricked. My body thinks I'm hungry and is telling me I'm hungry, but I know there's no reason for me to be hungry. I just had a burger or something, even like two hours later. Like it should be okay, but it thinks it's hungry because it's been basing that on the lies of certain foods. Liar! 
I don't know very much about this, but this is what I'm gathering from the information. Like I said before, we just weren't eating all that much. According to the protein levels we're supposed to have, we need to be eating way more. And it's just like, how could we eat this much? It just seems like so much. Also, I think I did not realize how heavily I snacked. Like I didn't even think about it, just would snack on things all day long. And now that I don't have easily snackable foods, I'm missing that. And I don't think it's like because I'm hungry, it's like it's a comfort thing or I'm bored or it helps me get through this or it's just it's like almost like a fidget spinner in a way, which is awful. So I think on one part of it is it is because I'm hungry, but on another, I think I'm just used to the comfort of snacking, which is so ridiculous. So that's a mental game to get past. <laughs> I did have some changes with my bathroom routine. Uh, not so not so fun to talk about, but it's I know it is like a main point of concern for people with this diet too. Midweek, I really started experiencing those changes and in a not fun way. I got quite um, blocked, I guess you could say. That is beautiful that you can admit to that. Uh, probably a lot of that is because of the cheese, the amount of cheese I was eating. And it didn't, it, it really didn't feel good. Like I could feel the tightness, I guess, inside. But then as the week went on, it started to normalize. And I think I'm adapting to a new bathroom routine, which is strange, but hey, let's go with it, eh? Something else I've been experiencing is a lot of headaches. And at first, like part of it, I think, is hunger headaches. Our, our eating window starts at 9, but sometimes, like today, we didn't really eat until 11. I actually have a headache right now, even though I had a protein shake and then made some fried eggs. Um, the headache is still there. So part of it is hunger headaches, but also a part of it, I think, the sudden cutting down of my carbs and sugar intake. Uh, obviously, like yeah that's gonna that's gonna give me headaches like I, I can't forget about that <sighs> you know i would do a ton of baking I, I i had a ton of carbs and a ton of sugars Snack time! <laughs> so just to cut cold turkey like that is gonna be crazy so I should have been expecting that. I was just like not even thinking about it, you know? So now for the real question. Did I lose any weight? Let me tell you my numbers, okay? Dun, 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 dun. So my last week when we started was January 29th. And I weighed in at 186 pounds. Body fat percentage, 26.5%. And the fattest part of my tummy, I don't do like the most precise measurements, but I just like to get a basic idea, 42 inches, which despite what you're thinking, that's not perfect for me. 42. <laughs> so after a week of carnivore diet, I have weighed myself today and here are the differences. February 5th, I am down to 181.6 pounds. So lost like five pounds that's pretty sweet and my body fat percentage is down to 25.3 percent and my tummy didn't lose all that much um around 41.75 inches so i definitely have lost weight that is great woohoo i did face pictures and body pictures just to keep a track of the differences i'm really noticing a difference in my face actually look at these pictures side by side day one day seven and i actually notice my face looks different do you, don't you think do you guys think so uh there's like far less bloat don't you think it might just be like oh you know two different pictures two different lighting but i'm trying to truly look and it does look like my face is less puffy cool when i look at the body pictures they look pretty much the same to me i don't see a huge difference but that's okay i'm definitely going to be doing a side by side like day one and day 30 picture to see the difference after a month so i'm excited to do that too all right i actually do have one more thing to add on a physical change um and that is about my period yeah i did get my period this week and actually surprisingly it came two days early like normally i am very reliably 28 to 30 days that's like that's my cycle but this week my period came on day 26 which is pretty rare for me and while it was 
nearly as heavy and painful as it normally is, I noticed it didn't take me out. The first day or two is usually horrible for me and I'll usually need to take a rest. I'll just be like passed out on the couch and dead because I just feel so terrible. And mentally, I'm just like done, you know, but that didn't happen this time. Like I was still mentally sharp. I was able to just get to have a normal work day. I didn't even have to take the rest. Um, so that is pretty cool. And maybe maybe it'll get even better as time goes on. I don't know. But I am really excited about that aspect as well. Another note is I'm excited about eating all this red meat because that's what I've been told my whole life that I need to do to help my anemia. The iron pills and stuff will never be enough, but I just have never been into meat all that much. And so this is the first time in my life I'm eating a huge amount of red meat and I'm excited to see how that affects my iron levels, my ferritin levels, uh, hemoglobin, all that stuff, you know. Cool. So that sums it up. I'll do another update next week. In conclusion, it's been a hard adjustment week. Headaches, hunger, cravings for my snacks. But I'm excited about the results I've seen, the weight that I've lost, the sharper mind I've had, and I am excited and motivated to continue this diet. Awesome. I'll see you guys next week for week two update. Rock on. <laughs>